<clears throat> okay, um, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with the news, but uh, I follow the I follow the the news every day. Um, every day I get up in the morning, uh, I either check the news on my iPad or I, I'm watching the TV, or I get to work and I uh, go to my Yahoo uh, that has all the news feeds from the different er- from the different newspapers or websites that I'm interested in. So I follow the news. I follow the news every day. Um, so I've been following this furlough business and I don't have any kids so it doesn't well it does affect me but it, it's not that big of a concern for me but it's, it's just interesting to see how politics uh, work in Hawaii um, because it does affect a lot of people and it definitely it does affect voters so the, the furlough thing, I, I, I certainly believe that the furloughs never did have to happen. Um, it, it was preventable, but um, uh, I think in the, you know, in the initial negotiations, because of the budget, uh, Lingle uh, backed herself into a corner and... Uh, uh, instead of doing the right thing, she tried to compromise and got the wrong thing. Okay, so so we have the furloughs. Instead of instead of um, just cutting the budget and taking a hard stance on on uh, laying people off, she said, okay, we're just going to furlough uh, the workers because they were furloughing the state workers as well. And and if you've been following the news, you, you've seen this. The state has been struggling with this budget crisis for a while and you know jobs have been threatened but yet not too many jobs have been lost in the state um, so so they decide to do the furloughs okay that's great I can understand that yeah it's better it's better to get days off instead of being fired or let go okay I can appreciate that but but now okay so the the public is outraged and they want the furloughs to end so we got three more furlough days left in this school year and then there's uh you know i don't know a bunch more apparently it's supposed to go on for several years uh for school Uh, and basically you're forced to they're forced to close the schools on these fridays uh, because they don't have enough money to pay the teachers or whatever. Teachers, uh, school administration, whatever. Okay. So, wh- whatever the case is, okay, you got, we have the furloughs, we have to deal with it. Because Lingo had poor negotiation skills. Okay, great. But now, there's all these t- uh, different plans now, now that the public is outraged. Um, about how to uh, get rid of the furloughs, how to pay for the for the furloughs, so that the kids can be put back into school. And now they're talking about raiding different funds to use money that is not meant for education, that are supposed to be used for other things, to pay for these furlough furlough Fridays. Uh, okay, I don't necessarily agree with that, but, you know, whatever. So anyway, the legislature passes this bill to raid the hurricane relief fund. Uh, And use that money to pay for the furloughs. I guess it's for next year. Uh, and Lingo and all her great wisdom and I don't I, I used to be a supporter of her but I don't know what's happening to her I don't know if it's senioritis you know this is her last term November she's she's done after the election I don't, I don't know she just 
slacking off or I don't know who she's taking advice from. Maybe it's the same people who got her into the furlough bit, the whole furlough problem and to begin with. But, but she goes and, and makes this statement about, hey, um, we have three more furlough days uh, as a sign of goodwill or whatever, as a sign of healing the community. Um, why don't the teachers go back to work on Fridays for no pay? And that's just idiotic. That's an idiotic thing to say. Because A, they can't do it. It's part, they're part of a union. And B, even if they could do it, who the hell would do that? That's just stupid. I mean, it's not like the, pro the teachers created this problem. It's, it's the gang state that created the problem. It's the Department of Education. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know who told her to go out and say something that asinine. <laughs> because it just makes her seem like... I could see, I could see like a... I don't know, like a state representative or something, you know, like a, you know, maybe a city council member saying something that stupid. But for the governor of the state of Hawaii to come out and say something that idiotic uh, makes me question, like, what, does she know what the hell she's doing? Uh, but either way, it's, it's very interesting. Uh, already the, the union has come back and said, yeah, that's illegal, you can't do that. So that's, that's a dumb thing to, to say. So hey, now we're asking our teachers to go do things that are illegal. That's very nice. So way to go, Linda Ringo. I mean, we're crying out loud, can, can November come any quicker?